All right, Shalom, Mike. I'm this your brother, Karab, from GMS Miami. First and foremost, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakaha Kodash, which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honors to the elder apostle of Great Millstone, who rule well the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And I want to give a hearty Shalom and much love to the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the Earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so in efforts to waking up the hopefully lack of the nation of Israel. Okay. And um, this lesson is pretty much um, going to be entitled, Listen More, you know. And um, it's pretty much inspired by uh, having a conversation with the uh, uh, with the brother Atazawam, the head of the Atlanta camp. And, um, you know, that, that stuck out with me, you know. Like, listening is an art, you know. Okay, because it's, um, you know, it's a, the, the easiest thing is to, 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 you know, run off at the mouth. You're not necessarily running off at the mouth, you know, just uh, um, what we've been called into. It requires a mass, mass amount of listening, you know, and not only to uh, the scriptures, not only to the elders, but also the men that are that are around you, that are laboring with you. You know, the men that, that you um that you're doing the work with, man, you know. And it doesn't matter rank. It doesn't matter rank either, you know, because the scriptures speak about a uh, good counsel, you know, and surrounding yourself about around counsel, you know, seek out counsel before you do things, you know. So um, per se, it doesn't doesn't necessarily uh, equate to, um, you know, uh, uh, order or, you know, it doesn't matter. The, the scriptures say uh, uh, esteem the next man, the demand under you over yourself, you know, so, you know. Uh, the main thing is we, we, we have to, uh, we have to listen more, man. We got to listen more. Why? Because if you perceive the men around you to be, um, to be a piece or a brick that's in the building of, of uh, that, uh, of your how I mean, they have wise words. Okay. And, um, you know, it, it's just it, it like the, you know, like the saying, um, you know, not scripture or nothing, but uh, there's a reason why the heavenly father gave you two ears and one mouth, you know, cause you, you, you're going to need to do more hearing, you know, and, and the scriptures, um, speak on that, speak to that notion as well, you know, cause, um, there's a lot to learn, a lot to learn. And, and, and um, you know, when we walk in the spirit, man, you know, not all the time necessarily do you need to quote scripture, you know? Um, just, just hearing the wise, wise words of wise men, you know, and everything is, is, um, is, um, everything is, 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 is around us is created to help us, you know? So it, it would behoove us to listen, you know, listen more at least, you know, and, 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 and say less, you know, every, everything does not, uh, every, uh, instant doesn't, uh, deserve a response, you know? Or, or one up, you know, the one up demon, you know, a uh, brother may say this and then you, oh, well, well, well you know, well, I, I, I read 20 chapters in one day. You said you read two. I read, two, you know, like, no, no, man, you know, just just sit back and listen to a brother sometime. And I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, you know, you know, and, and nothing's, nothing's wrong with a godly conversation, you know, but the, 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 the message is just, to, you know, listen more, you know, not just. Just uh, to brothers around you, to the scriptures, you know, listen to the, your spirit, you know, the elders, you know, it's just, uh, it's um, very beneficial, man. Very beneficial. Okay. Uh, matter of fact, let me get a preset just popped in my mind real quick. This is, um, oh, where is it? Oh, it's Romans. And this is pretty vague, you know, but basic, but it, 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 says, it says volumes. This is uh, Romans chapter 10, 10, um, verse 17. It says, so then, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the most high. Okay. So it's just showing you how, how, um, how, how, um, uh, serious it is, you know, when it, when you speak about listening, man, and, and, and just hearing things, you know, cause how does the most high speak to us? through his prophets, through his men, okay? So we got to always be ready to lend a, lend a, 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 a listening ear, you know, to brothers. And, you know, brothers may want to vent, you know, 
Um, but you know, just and, you know, just practice. You know, want another aspect of trimming. You know, but like I said, it's an art. You know, being able to listen. You know, and it also goes into ruling your spirit and showing temperance. You know, okay. Uh, get another precept. This is. Uh, Let me start at one Ecclesiastes three and one. Then I'll jump down. It says to everything. There is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. OK, let me jump down to. Uh, uh, seven, this Ecclesiastes three and seven, it says a time to rend and a time to sow a time to keep silence and a time to speak. OK. And that's another thing that we have to practice on, knowing when to speak and knowing when to keep silent, you know, especially when when you're being rebuked, when you're being rebuked, it's time to be silent, you know, it, it's not time to to uh, 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 say, well, this you he did this and he did. No, no, because if that was the case, you should have sought out counsel and spoke about it before, you know. But, um, you know, it, this, everything has to be done in a timely manner and, and decently and in order. OK, so there's a time to speak. You know, and then it's the time to listen. But for the most part, we need to be doing more listening. Why? Because faith cometh by hearing. <laughs> you know, and we gonna need a we gonna need a bunch of it, man. We gonna need a bunch of it. You know, real soon, cause you know, keeping our eyes um watching over the wall. You know, seeing what the time that we coming into, and us being the watchman, man. Hey, we we gonna need as much faith as we can accumulate, man. Okay, cause it's about to get ugly. You know, everything in the news or, or in the so, uh, uh, um, um, you know, everything in the, in, you know, all the current events are pointing to, hey, brothers, we got to, we got to, we got to get our minds right, you know. But, um, you know, let me read that again. It says a time to rent, a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, you know. And, and that's, that's like I said, that's a part of being, uh, showing temperance and self-control, man, you know. Knowing when to speak and knowing when to be quiet, man. You know, but for the most part, we we need to practice being 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 quiet, man. Being silent and speaking when it's time when it's time to speak. You know, okay. Um, and these pretty you know basic scriptures, but it, it's it's in the Bible for a reason, man. Okay, we we have to exercise these attributes because obviously they are uh, spru uh, fruits of the spirit as well. Okay, this is uh, James. This is James 1. Mm. I start at 19. Yeah, so James 1 and 19 it says, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. Okay. And the reason why is because to hear, when you're hearing things, you have to compartmentalize them. You have to you know, understand it or, or, or basically decipher, you know, pick out like brothers like to say, like to pick out, uh, uh, take the meat and, pit, and spit out the bones. Okay. And you have to get a fine understanding of what's being spoken. Okay. And for, in, in, in this per, uh, case, it's the word, man, scriptures. Okay. Or exhort exhortation from a brother, you know, or uh, admonishment, you know, Quick this I mean uh what let me read it again. It says, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. Okay. And and just by that alone, um your, your development in this in this faith, man, it, it, it begins to grow, you know, because in the world, you know, we're, we're taught to be blabbermouths or or or, or um, babblers. And the scriptures speak about uh, babblers. Let me get that real quick. Okay, it's not popping up here. But um, you brought brothers uh, familiar with that scripture. Well, basically it says, uh, "Be not a babbler." You know, I think I, I believe it's in uh, the book of Sirach. Let me let me go let me go there. Try to find it. Um, 
Okay, there it is. Perfect. Uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 20 and 7, it says, A wise man will hold his tongue till he see opportunity, but a babbler but a babbler and a fool will regard no time. Right, you know? And that goes into showing temperance. Knowing when to speak, knowing when to be quiet, man. You know? Because uh, the, the scriptures speak about that tongue, that, that, that little member, that tongue. But it's caused many men to get put to death, man. Okay? Why? Because they they were they, they were not slow to speak, you know, and they were not quick to listen. You know, a lot of a lot of uh, 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 miscommunications come from, you know, people being slow to speak and quick to hear, you know, because everybody feels like they have they, what they're what they're saying is, is 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 the end all be all. But that's not the case. What the heavenly Father and His Son says is the end all be all. Okay. So while we're here on Earth, brothers, we gotta we gotta take heed, you know. Seek out counsel and, and listen more, man. Just listen. It's an art. Okay? Let me get one more precept. Uh, let me see. Let's lock in. This is... This is Proverbs chapter 17. And we'll start at 27. Uh, Proverbs 17 and 27 says, He that have knowledge spareth his words. And a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. Okay, you see? So that's really what we're striving for. We're striving to get that excellent understanding. Okay, because when we get that excellent understanding, that increases our wisdom. And our wisdom is what's going to stabilize us in the time of Jacob's trouble. And see, that's what everything boils down to. Of course, we're called out to teach the word, push the word, you know, show alms, give charity to brothers, okay? But we're doing all this to show the Heavenly Father we want to be saved, okay? All these little things are going to equate to us being delivered, man. That's what everything boils down to getting on a chariot. That's why you want to be quick to listen and slow to speak, okay? Because technically, we don't know nothing, man. Okay, and even coming into the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we still don't know nothing, man. This is their wisdom they gave to us. Okay, we only know what the Heavenly Father has taught us, okay, and put in our spirits to learn, you know. So we need to be sponges. That's why our brain looks like a sponge. We need to obtain as much wisdom and understanding as possible, man. Okay, for the for that for that the, the, the time, the, the, uh, the time of trouble, man. Okay, read that again. It says, he that have knowledge spare of his words and a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit. Okay, and, and your, your, your spirit becomes excellent by hearing wisdom. <laughs> you know, verse 28, it says, even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, is counted wise, and he that shutteth his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. Okay, and you see that, you know, brothers that, you know, you know, it may come off as they're, they're shy or timid. When you when you actually t peel back the layers, you see those brothers are extremely wise, man. You know, and, and, and accumulate a lot of understanding. Why? Because the more you're talking, the less you can interpret or understand. You know, and that's really what it boils down to. You know, like like um, I entitled this lesson, man. Just listen more. Just listen more. Okay, it ain't gonna hurt you. Cause guess what? Like it says here, even a fool when he hold of his peace is counted wise. Okay, why? Because he's not spewing out madness. Not saying that brothers do that, you know, but that's just the way that a man of the Lord should carry himself. You know, be slow to speak and, 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 and quick to hear, man. Okay, you know, we 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 do the, it's the little things, and that's what I like to go into on my lessons, the, the small things. Okay, it's the small because guess what? The small things are what build up your foundation. OK, for you to be able to build on top of it, you know, basically uh, 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 going into the meat, you know. So, yeah, brothers, you know, I just want to throw that out there real quick. Little, little exhortation, you know, listen more, listen more, brother, whether a brother under you or not, just listen more. Give an ear. OK, because there's always something that we can learn, you know, always. So, uh, Lord willing, that was edifying with that. I want to say Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakodash, Rakatam, Shabbat.